Although there are numerous positive aspects to sexual contact, there are also some possible consequences, including sexually transmitted infections. This is the first video in a series about sexually transmitted infections and will cover gonorrhea and chlamydia. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. Sexually transmitted infections, or STIs, sometimes called STDs for sexually transmitted diseases, are very common. According to the CDC in 2018, one in every five people in the US had an STI. Of the 26 million new infections during that year, almost half of them were in people between the ages of 15 and 24. There are several STIs and it is possible to have multiple at once, but STIs are preventable, treatable, and in most cases curable. The videos in this series will follow a similar structure by answering the same questions for each infection. This video covers gonorrhea and chlamydia together because it is very common to be infected with both at the same time, and they present in very similar ways. The infection that we call gonorrhea is caused by a bacterium named Neisseria gonorrhea, and the infection we call chlamydia is caused by a bacterium named Chlamydia trachomatis. Both are transmitted by sexual contact and can infect the eyes, mouth and throat, genitals, and rectum. They can also be transmitted to a baby during delivery. The only way to guarantee that you won't be infected is with abstinence, meaning not engaging in sexual activity. But if you choose to be sexually active, then you can do these three things to reduce your risk. The first is to have an open and honest conversation with your partners and discuss whether they have an STI and get tested before engaging in the sexual activity. The second is when you are engaging in the sexual activity, use protection such as male or female condoms or dental dams. Other birth control methods do not protect against STIs because you're still having direct contact without a barrier. The third way is to enter an exclusive relationship with your partners, meaning you only engage in sexual activity with each other, after everyone has been tested and confirmed to not have any STIs. If neither you nor your partners have an STI, you can't magically get one. It is always transmitted from one person to another. Common symptoms for both include a cloudy discharge from the urethra, which is the tube that urine comes out of, the vagina or the rectum, and the color may range between white, yellow, and green redness and swelling of the urethra, painful urination or bowel movements, and frequent urination. For anyone with a vagina, cervix, and uterus, the infections can cause pain during sexual activity, inflammation of the cervix, and bleeding after sexual activity and between periods. There are several complications if these infections are not treated. For anyone with testicles or a prostate, these can become infected, inflamed, and painful. For anyone with a uterus, fallopian tubes, or ovaries, it can spread to them and cause abscesses, which is like a space filled with pus and the bacteria, or lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, which can cause chronic pain and possible infertility. Chlamydia is actually the leading cause of infertility because it can cause scarring of the fallopian tubes. They can even spread throughout one's body. For example, both can spread to the area surrounding the liver, and gonorrhea can spread to the heart and joints. If the infections have not spread, then there are a couple options, but the most common treatment for gonorrhea is a single injection of the medication in your arm, and for chlamydia, a single pill. If they have spread, then the treatment options are different and you may have to go to the hospital to receive a longer course of treatment. Yes, you can be reinfected an unlimited number of times because our body is not able to kill these infections by itself. They are not like some other diseases or infections where we kill it and our immune system remembers for next time. In fact, chlamydia is the most commonly reported bacterial STI. A final very important fact to know is that most people with chlamydia or gonorrhea are asymptomatic, which means they don't have any of the symptoms mentioned above, but they can still get the long-term complications and transmit the infection to other people. So get tested and if needed, treated, ask your partners to do the same and then get tested again to confirm that your treatment worked. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, 
learned something new, have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.